The GOP, they've got control. The House, the Senate, the White House, yet many items on the president's agenda are stalled. Can Republicans actually govern? Let's bring in conservative commentator and radio host Eric Erickson. Eric, good morning. Good morning. You know, they've spent now six months on health care, and there's nothing to show for it. You now have two Republican senators saying they're not even willing to vote yes to proceed on debating. Hands are being thrown up in the air. Can the GOP get it together? Well, it, you know, it's really frustrating, particularly as a conservative who for years bought into the idea they really wanted to repeal it. But I think this is a sign a lot of them don't want to really repeal Obamacare. They might want to fix it. Uh, at the same time, you know, I do have to say the Democrats are, were more effective at governing because they were ideologically very consistent. There's much more ideological diversity within the Republican Party right now, which isn't really a bad thing. At the state level, they're governing very well. Uh, they could probably use a little more presidential leadership at the federal level on a cohesive agenda agenda to get around all the partisan divides, but it's not necessarily a bad thing that there are a whole lot of opinions within the GOP right now. Yeah, but, but the problem is that that's creating division within the party. I mean, you've even written about this. You said in a blog post that McConnell has no real plan, no longer has the trust of his conference, which I think a lot of other Republican analysts are saying that as well, uh, that he really just can't get together a unified plan. I mean, is this a reflection yeah. on Mitch McConnell? Or is this a deeper reflection on the Republican Party as a whole? You know, yeah, I think there is a, a meditation on the Republican Party you could have on this. But in the Senate, I think it has a lot to do with Mitch McConnell now. It used to be conservatives in the Senate did not trust the Senate Majority Leader. But now you're getting moderate and liberal Republicans as well expressing concerns that uh, they don't think he's been straightforward with them. He, he's played it a little too cute. And that's where a lot of the distrust on health care comes from. Uh, and if he could get everyone on the same page and be honest with them, they may be able to move forward with it. But neither side really trusts their own leader. Right but now. Yeah, well, that's, that's not the president. You know what? McConnell. But that's McConnell's problem. I mean, why not be more open about? I mean, he's had all these backdoor meetings. Um, you know, everything is backfiring on him now. I mean, the Democrats are saying we will work with you. Maybe you do or do not believe Chuck Schumer. But a lot of people didn't even know what they were voting on. And this just seems like, you know, they can't even work with the Democrats at all. And they're keeping it secret. That seems to be the issue. Be more transparent, maybe, here. Yeah, you listen, it, transparency is a huge concern for all the Republicans. Ron Johnson, senator from Wisconsin, says he felt like it was a breach of trust by, by the Senate Majority Leader. You had even John McCain saying they should be doing this stuff in the open. If this is a big life-changing thing for Americans, uh, Republicans criticize Democrats for being behind closed doors. There's no reason for them to do it. All right. Look, at this point, here's where we're at today. I want to update our viewers again. So we're looking at this, like, skinny repeal, basically. So some parts of Obamacare may go away. The individual mandate, uh, if this passes the Senate now, the individual mandate for employee, if the individual mandate, the penalty, and of course for employers, but also this expands Medicaid in 31 states. So it's still got a heavy price tag to it. Does that hurt the next vote that we expect to see on this? Yeah, I think so, although I'll have a report coming out in just a little while. There's a rumor circulated on Capitol Hill pretty credibly that uh, McConnell and Schumer have cut a deal that if that's all the Republicans get, a uh, walk back of medical device tax and a walk back of the individual mandate, Democrats will then ease up on the uh, holding nominations for the president and they'll work together on tax reform. Because if you let go of the individual mandate and the, and the medical ref ta tax, you're going to have to fix it in tax reform. So, so, that ba so basically health care still dies, but tax reform advances. That's right. interesting. That's a very, that, Eric, I had not heard that. Eric, thank you very much for that. We really appreciate you uh, being with us this morning. Sure. Take care.